Hello, this is my first review on the internet and I want to show you the motorcycle or bicycle GPS navigation called M5S Pro. Uh, this also can be used in a car. Uh, I make this review in not my native uh, language because I think this device is a little specific and it will be helpful for uh, many people to do this review in English language because when I was uh, looking for some GPS navigation for my motorbike I uh, couldn't uh, find found uh, some review of this device yes I know the older version with Windows CE and this this is a version with uh, Android 6.0. So at first, what uh, does the box set says? So this navigation has a five-inch display. It's uh, IPX7 waterproof. It means that uh, you can uh, put this device uh, under the water to one meter for. 30 minutes. There is a Android 6.0 and uh, there is some Wi-Fi connection, some information about screen and battery and there is browser and uh, other things. So on the other side there is the same things but uh, more detail. So the processor is MTK 8163 it's a Cortex A53 based course it's a quad core processor with 1 1.3 gigahertz per core the resolution of the screen is 800 by 380 pixels there is also a 1 gigabyte DDR3 memory as a RAM and the uh, ROM is 16 gigabytes. This uh, device uh, supports micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes and the box set says that there is uh, stereo speakers but I think it's uh, not true because I found only uh, one speaker but maybe it can be true. I I try to find the other speaker. Uh, there is a USB 2 interface, and the capacity of battery could be 3,000 million per hours. So this uh, this is uh, first part of first part of the review. I want to make uh, the second part after some uh, user experiences, after some, uh, let's say, months, maybe weeks. Uh, this is something as uh, unboxing, but I've already unboxed this device before. So I put the everything back and I can call it unboxing. So there is some uh, little damage from the post, but uh, it's not affected uh, anything inside. So everything is good, in good condition. And so let's try to unbox this box. At first there is the device, GPS navigation. There is some user manual it's uh, it's useful in English language you can get some basic information about this device inside this manual but I think it's not necessary to put this for me there is the motorbike holder now this part is motorbike holder this is a GPS antenna uh, and uh, 
discover is holder for whole navigation there is a this thing this is plastic there is a four screws it's very very good and very very strong material and this is not uh, made uh, with plastic but it's a uh, rubber so I think it will be very good if you want to strongly fix this device so this seems to be very nice there is one funny thing this stylus it's the same stylus as for Windows CE version of some Fotsport navigation but there is a capacitive touch screen so this can be used only for reset the device I show you where is the button uh, later so the first thing is that I will I will find some uh, capacitive touchscreen compatible stylus because if you wear gloves it's very useful to have some stylus so this is the holder yes and there is some screwdriver uh, there is the one screw to fix this device in this holder and I think this screwdriver is uh, for USB and uh, micro SD card slot because it's covered by some plus piece of plastic and it's screwed by two screws this thing is the motorcycle charger every connector is waterproof so you can you can use this connector like this way and screw this thing and it should be waterproof yeah but you can you can uh, quickly unconnect this uh, this uh, part from the motorbike and uh, use it in a car or bicycle as you want to this adapter this is not very strong cables but I think for 1.5 amps of current it's it's good but it can be stronger I know this uh, adapter from uh, the older version with Windows CE and I was repairing this adapter for my friend once they have two navigation and one this adapter uh, was uh, was damaged after maybe one one year one and a half year there is a coil and everything uh, what I I I done it's uh, uh, repair soldiering of this coil because the sol the solder joint uh, wasn't uh, good made let's say so if you have this thing and the charging is not working the reason must uh, can can be the bad soldering on the coil inside you can quickly repair this by soldering iron so there is the other holder this holder is for car it seems to be good but not so strong as this and this part you can get to this part from behind but you must unscrew these four screws and use this so I think this is not very good I think if you want to 
use this navigation in a car and motorbike sometimes in a car sometimes motorbike it's better to get this cover as a spare part if it's possible i i will tell you this uh, information in the second video the other thing is uh, the car charger or you can use this charger on a motorbike if you get some 20 volt plug so nothing special on this device on this charger there is some basic USB cable this device has an mini USB connector, not micro USB and there is some other uh, there is some other uh, accessories uh, for the motorbike holder so you can see this Holder, this, some rubber thing, some metal thing, S and two. This is made from rubber too. This is very strong plastic material, and this is also very very strong. No, it's not from plastic. I think it's some metal. Yes, it's metal. So I'm surprised. This is very strong and it's very good. You can get it like this. This screw with these things to motorbike. Also these things are from metal. So this is all from accessories and holders and everything like that. And now I want to show you the whole device. There is the device. As you can see, there is factory implemented uh, screen cover. So I put it off or down the screen. There is some not good part but yes I can fix it so it's very good the device is uh, very good made there is some contact from the for the holder there is the reset button this uh, rubber things uh, over the screws are not very accurate but doesn't matter there is the USB port and uh, micro SD card slot under this this cover there is only the turn off turn on button and it's all there is a speaker and I don't know where is the secondary speaker but I can't see it so let's Let's try to turn the device on. It is. I can to increase the brightness. Oh, I try this level. This is the minimum value and this is the maximum value. Not uh, some sensors here, but I think it's not necessary. This is good. So, the user interface is uh, very light way and there is no some additional buttons or other things. I have already connected to my Wi-Fi. 
So you can use uh, the navigation software as a main. It's I go my way application. And I think. Yes. There is the European maps, and I don't know what other maps are here, but it will be in the second video. Uh, there is a settings with not many options, but for this device, I think it's good. The memory you can see 788 megabytes used from one gigabyte but and only 193 space in a RAM but the device seems to be very quick for now there is some music player the internet browser The file manager, you can see there is a 6.1 gigabytes free space of 16 gigabytes of total space. So it's it's uh, good, but not too much. It's better to get some micro SD card. And the last button is apps. There is a browser, download, file manager, flash player, there is a FM transmitter, you can play the music, get some frequency there and use this for a car radio. So it's very good, it's good, very good thing. There is a standard gallery, Google, some GPS info, uh, there is some signal but I'm inside, so I don't know if it is possible to fix the GPS. I think no. The other is iGo navigation software, Google Maps, music player. There is a MX player. I think it's good application for the videos. Also, there is a Play Store, so I think you can uh, install some Google Play apps. I'm not uh, connected to any Gmail account now, so this will be in uh, the second part of the video. There is the settings and some application Zapier mini share. I don't I don't know what is it. So thank you for watching this video and I hope it was uh, helpful helpful for everybody because if I I was looking for this review there was nothing so the first impression is very good the device speed is very good I'm surprised yes this is not not bad for the hardware but uh, I will review the speed after some application in installed the Holders are very strong and seems to be very good and the price was for me oh, $120 but the normal price is about $140 without VAT and postage but the postage was free to Czech Republic.